minutes of, of remarks, and I hope I think we're I don't want to stay on my back to anyone. But uh, so let me, let me step back here. Uh, just a, a couple things before I introduce our, our special guest here. We we just heard from from our president about the National Export Initiative and, and what that means. Um, it starts really with, with having the best products, the best services, and, and, and the best technology. And we all feel as Americans that, that we do have that. We've got it, and boy, there was no better demonstration of that than, than, than these last 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, and, and not that I uh, understood much of it. <laughs> boy, I knew it was, but. <laughs> um, and, and, and that's really where it, start, it starts with. It starts with, with the U.S. companies that are able to deliver the best uh, uh, that the world has to offer. Um, and before I introduce uh, the ambassador, uh, I'd just like to take a moment to talk a little bit uh, about the National Export Initiative uh, and, and how the Department of Commerce, the U.S. Commercial Service, uh, fits in uh, 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 to, to this uh, export initiative. I was in Washington last week, and uh, I was told quite clearly that that the commercial service, the export assistance centers, are, are the tip of the spear, um, and, and 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 that there's there's no uh, there's no choice but but success uh, in the next 12 months, not to mention the next five years, and and we're excited about that. Uh, the way we carry out our our role in the national export initiative, the way the U.S. commercial service uh, delivers, is export promotion. We work with companies through 109 offices domestically called U.S. Export Assistance Centers. Tony is the director of the Philadelphia office. And we work with the commercial sections of the embassies and consulates overseas, our sister offices, one big seamless network. And, and this network uh, delivers a variety of, of products, services, advice, assistance, access uh, to the right partners and, and the right organizations overseas to help a company grow into new markets. Uh, in 2009, uh, we facilitated over 12,000 export sales uh, for uh, nearly 6,000 small and medium-sized companies. 85% uh, of those are small and medium-sized. Those are the ones we can track. We work with thousands and thousands of more companies. Um, uh, but those are the ones that we can track the results of. But we know we're out there making a difference on the export promotion side. Uh, those sound like big numbers. Uh, we have a tremendous worldwide network in place to help specifically small and medium-sized companies. Uh, but quite frankly, even though we are the biggest export promotion agency out there, we, we can't go it alone. And, and we don't go it alone. And this National Export Initiative uh, highlights the fact that it's a federal government-wide effort, uh, that uh, all agencies across the federal government are joining forces to help small and medium-sized companies, whether it is the export controls uh, issues, or, or whether it is understanding that it's not just promoting U.S. Uh, U.S. exports, but it's also making sure that, that there's a level of play, uh, fair playing field uh, for U.S. companies. Uh, but even to bring that below the federal level, uh, the U.S. Commercial Service works very closely with a variety of partners uh, at the local and state level, and some some of them are here today. Linda Conlon, who was formerly uh, of ex Export Import Bank and was a federal just recently is now the head of the World Trade Center here in Philadelphia and a critical partner to help us deliver our services right here in the area. Um, uh, a variety of other agencies, the Chester County Economic Development Council, their trade board is another local partner that we rely on. Um, we also work with the private sector uh, and PNC and m and Bank, I think both may be here today, are both private sector marketing partners uh, that we work with small and medium-sized companies export. Uh, and last but not least is probably our most important local partner, and that's the District Export Council. Uh, and Matt Glenn and Joseph Carty uh, are both key players, volunteers in this District Export Council. So while we're so big and while we're worldwide and while we have so much resources to bring to bear on behalf of small companies, we, uh, we certainly realize that it's, it's a partnership. And at the end of the day, we can help to set the environment. Hopefully, we can help cut the time to market for small and medium-sized companies. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's the U.S. company that makes it work. It's the technology. It's the drive. It's the initiative. It's, it's setting goals uh, to grow overseas. And then hopefully, we can help, help those companies. But at the end of the day, those companies are the winners. And, and the success is really theirs. 
and we just like to feel that we play a small, a small part in their success on the promotion side. Uh, so with that said, I would just like to take a moment uh, to introduce, our, and I'll use my cheat sheet here if you don't mind, uh, to introduce Ambassador Demetrius Morantis. Um, Ambassador Morantis uh, serves as the Deputy U.S. Trade Rep uh, for the United States. He was nominated by the President. Uh, and confirmed by the Senate in May. He is responsible for U.S. trade negotiations and enforcement in Asia and Africa. He leads USTR global initiatives on trade and development, labor, and the environment. Ambassador Morantis recently served as the Chief International Trade Council for the Senate Finance Committee. And in this capacity, he advised Finance, he advised finance Committee Chairman Max Baucus on trade and economic issues. Uh, previously, the ambassador spent two years in Hanoi as the chief legal advisor for the U.S. Vietnam Trade Council and provided technical assistance on international trade matters. Uh, between 1998 and 2002, Ambassador Morantis served as the associate general counsel in the office of the U.S. Trade Representative, uh, where he negotiated provisions of international trade agreements uh, such as the U.S. Uh, Singapore and the U.S. Chile free trade agreements. Uh, two agreements, by the way, that I've personally seen U.S. companies, Philadelphia area companies, take, take advantage of in recent years. Uh, he holds a JD from Harvard and an AB uh, in Public International Affairs from Princeton University. So if you could all join me in welcoming Ambassador Morantis. 